Hi, and welcome to this TemperZone plug fan tutorial. To increase performance, efficiency, and operational range, TemperZone is integrating plug fan technology across all product ranges. So what is a plug fan? Plug fans use an inverter in conjunction with brushless DC motors for superior operational range and energy efficiency. This is the reason why these types of motors are called plug motors or plug fans due to their plug and play approach. They can also be referred to as EC fans, electronically controlled fans. TempoZone plug fans can be separated into two categories, internally contained inverter and external inverter. Internally mounted inverters are most commonly found in backward curve centrifugal evaporator fans and condenser propeller fans. Some forward curve centrifugal evaporator fans on small to mid capacity units use an external inverter called an ECC driver board to control the motor speed. The advantage of using plug fans include increased energy efficiency, superior speed control, stable condensing pressure, stable duct pressure, phase direction indifference, high level and low level communication capabilities, increased levels of fault indication. Plug fan inverters use back EMF to calculate the position of the motor rotor knowing the position of the rotor is integral to determine the motor speed. Upon the starting of a plug fan, it can be quite often noticed that the motor may appear to stall or even turn backwards slightly. This is a normal function of the inverter to calibrate the rotor position before normal operation. Electrical testing of motors with internally mounted inverters is impossible due to the terminals being electrically isolated from the motor windings due to the inverter. Do not use a mega ohm meter on these terminals as this risks damage to the inverter. For fault identification, refer to the manufacturer's LED fault indication lights. These can be found in the TempoZone service training manual. When testing motors with an externally mounted inverter, standard three phase motor testing is conducted as all plugged motors are wired in three phase arrangement, even if the power supply to the inverter is single phase. Standard tests would include earth continuity test, insulation resistance test, and a winding continuity test. Due to plug motors being brushless, there are some further testing that can be conducted. Brushless motors have a magnetic rotor. Testing of the rotor for demagnetization can be conducted in one of two ways. Test one is to select AC volts on a multimeter and touch any two of the motor winding leads. Turn the fan barrel manually and see that an AC voltage is generated on the meter. AC voltage generated demonstrates that the magnets are in good condition. The second test for demagnetization is to touch two motor leads together and try to turn the rotor. If the magnets are in good condition, touching the leads will cause the magnets to pole, creating a large resistance to the point where the motor will feel seized. Testing of the external inverter or ECC drive should be conducted using the LED indication light. Total system external static pressure is the pressure difference between the return air chamber before the return air filters and the supply air chamber. Total system external static pressure and airflow can be estimated without the use of a manometer when examining the fan curve data supplied for your model temper zone in the technical data manual. For example, the evaporator fan on this OPA 560 is drawing 3.8 amps. Its speed input voltage is eight volts. Plotted on the fan curve is an estimated 275 pascals of total system external static at 2,500 liters of airflow. As you can see, a phase velocity of 2.5 meters per second is marked upon the x-axis of the chart. It is not recommended to exceed this value. Likewise, airflow is not recommended to drop below 1.5 meters per second for reliable operation. To adjust the speed of your plug fan, either at the IUC controller or the UC8 controller, refer to the relevant operation manual. It is very often compromised airflow that causes intermittent tripping, poor temperature and humidity control, and a shortened lifespan of equipment. So remember, if you get the airflow right, your TempoZone product will run reliably for eons. 
For further information to help your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version 8 of the Tampa Zone Service Training Manual from tampazone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch. Be sure to subscribe to the Tampa Zone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates and much more.